Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Codexual. How are you? If you want to be a VTuber and if you want to get some captions, like motion captions like this, winking my eye, winking my other eye, you know, do the whole head thing. Um, you know, whenever I talk, the mouth moves with it too. Um, so far, I bought me a iPhone and for just to do some VTubing stuff on my stream, twitch.tv slash Codexual, watch it. Um, I wanted to get into the space of VTubing because, you know, I think it's pretty dope. And uh, I want to share the information that I've I've learned with you guys. So um, there'll be more future tutorials of more VTubing stuff. But for now, um, I've got uh, I got a couple of things that I can work with and hopefully you guys as well. If you have an iPhone 10 or 11 or 12 um, that has face tracking ID, and a webcam, you're pretty much ready to go. And if you wanna do like a hand, uh, um, hand tracking, um, that's gonna be for like a different video, but uh, we're gonna work with the bare basics of what we ha have. So uh, uh, an iPhone and a webcam. Let's get started. Check out private internet access today. It's gonna act as your digital content because when you're sticking your things in places where they don't belong, you're gonna... over. Now, when you visit no-no sites, like when you're looking at stuff that you're not supposed to, or you're downloading things illegally, there is no logs that is kept by PIA. Now, the US Supreme Court is like, hey, uh, we need you to log all your users and we need to see if they're up to no good. And PIA is like, yo, government, we don't have logs. That's part of our policy, bro. So. That gives you a extra confidence that you can download things illegally. Not I'm saying you should, but I'm just saying they don't keep logs, man. Now, if you can't afford for $10, give or take a, a month, then don't click skip ad on my videos because I need that moolah. Buy PIA today. Thank you. First, let's talk about the software. Then we'll talk about how to create your avatar model, which is all going to be for free. Um, so there's two softwares which is a VC face, which allows you to have more customization. Um, you can go to the settings and you can choose like um, all these effects, lighting, so on and so forth. Uh, and then there's wide IO. Um, let me go ahead and just uh, disable this real quick. All right, so VC face, which I strongly recommend, then there's wide IO. It's simple and easy to use, but I strongly recommend um, VC face. And all links will be in the description, so don't worry. All right, let's talk about how to uh, create your avatar. We have Vroid Studio, and again, it's completely for free. And as you can see right here, I basically just exported it. I didn't put any customization on it whatsoever. And uh, it has all this options, the face editor, hair, body, clothing, general editor, and so on and so forth. Um, you, you can give it, you can make the eyes go apart and, uh, you know, the width of the, of the, of the eyes. Um, you can do so much stuff with it. Again, this is just an introduction of these softwares. If you wanna learn how to do all of this stuff, I suggest you look up a tutorial. Um, I will be making a tutorial of how to do this, but um, if you just want something just to start off with right from the get-go, then you know, download uh, Vroid Studio, then uh, choose your avatar that you wanna mess around with. Then once you're satisfied with it, you can go to the camera exporter on the top right tab, then it will show, um, export right here then you click on export then it's going to save it as a dot vrm that is the format that you need that you want to use with the vc face and wide io so um after you export it which is uh where where where's the options i clicked on export help raffle copter uh is it under here save as no 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 Export. Oh, okay, right here. I'm sorry, I'm blind. Um, here on the right, you'll have the export button. Then you just, you know, you name it. Then uh, you give it a, um, a description and all this other stuff. And then once you uh, fill all that out, hit OK. Then save it where uh, on the desktop. Then, then plug in your iPhone 
to your computer and make sure you have the iTunes software. Once your iPhone is plugged in and you have iTunes up and running, um, right here is a small little icon. I know it's kind of hard to see, but that is your phone. You click that. I'm gonna move this to the side because I don't feel like editing out all my personal information. Um, and uh, on the far left, you will see file sharing. You wanna click file sharing. All right, now we brought it back here. So file sharing right here. So for you, you do not have Wide IO installed. Again, it's free. Go to the iOS store and look up Wide IO and install that. Then once you uh, uh, once you have that installed and once you click on it, it'll just show the Unity folder, but not the file. So the file that you have exported, um, whatever you named it as, rename it as default.vrm and drag and drop in to the wide IO uh, uh, documents here. Then run your wide IO app on your iPhone and I'll show you how to set that up. So on your iPhone, you will have wide IO, which you can get from the IRS store. And once you launch it, you're able to see my head move and um, track my eyes and everything. So on the hamburger menu, you'll see all these settings. So what is really important for you to notice is the IP address and the port. You want to touch that and you're able to make modifications. Um, so make sure that your, uh, your iPhone and your desktop are on the same network that's connected to the same Wi-Fi or if your desktop is connected via Ethernet port, you know, as long as they're sit on the same network. And if you don't know how to get towards, uh, if you don't know how to get your computer's IP address, it's very simple. I'll show you how to do it once we're back on the desktop. Make sure that you copy the port number two, that it matches on the uh, wide IO uh, desktop application and the VC face application as well. So in order for it to be uh, um, sending and receiving that data between both uh, applications from mobile to desktop. All right, let's start off with wide IO because it's really simple to set up. Um, before we do that, we actually need to make sure that we can grab our desktop IP address. So hit the Windows key on your keyboard, type in CMD for command prompt. And uh, I know that did not pop up, but uh, anywho, what you wanna do is type in IP config, then you're gonna scroll up and it's gonna show you what your IP address is. If you have multiple IP addresses and you can't differentiate the which IP is uh, uh, will be allocated for you, like uh, as in that it will work for you, just try all the IPv4 addresses until you can start seeing some uh, movement on the application. But uh, I know that I'm on ethernet, so ethernet adapter, this is my IP address. And right here is the IP address for a uh, uh, virtual box. So that, that, that's something else. Don't worry about that. Anywho. All right. So it's um, it matches with the wide IO application on the iOS app. And uh, OK, I'm confident that's all put in. Now let's go ahead and run wide IO. So once we run it um, in the folder, also make sure you copy the default.vrm into this folder right here. Then once you um, have that done, run the wide.io underscore pc.exe, and there you have it. You are right here. So it's very limited in what you could do, but it's very simple and it's, it's awesome. However, I wanna do more uh, with my avatar um, than I can do with white IO, which is basically nothing. So, you know, you can just copy this into your OBS uh, with a game capture and uh, give it a effects with a green screen chroma. And, you know, this will disappear, but that's, that's basically it. I want more functions with, uh, uh, with my avatar. So this is where I strongly recommend VC face, which is really easy to use. So let's go ahead and open up VC face. And, um, um, you don't have to put the default.vrm avatar uh, in um, a file into the folder because once you open up the exe, 
it's going to prompt you with a tutorial of how to uh, set up OBS with um, VC face, which is follow those instructions, then um, come back to this video and follow this. So um, um, you're gonna select a add avatar, then I've already added my avatar, and it's going to ask um, your webcam, which is go ahead and select your webcam and um, choose all of these settings that you normally associate it with OBS of whatever you set it up with into this. And once you're done with that, go ahead and click start. So now that we have it up and running, it will take a moment for it to load, depending on how fast your computer is. It took a couple of seconds to start tracking everything. But to get that tracking, you wanna to go to the settings on the upper right, then it'll say general settings, you click on that. Then you wanna scroll down to OSC slash VMC protocol and make sure you check mark the OSC VRM's receiver. And if again, if you don't know what your IP address is, there's this option to show uh, your LAN IP along with the port number. This. Uh, again, needs to match with your wide IO iOS application. And yes, wide IO um, on your iOS app needs to be running. So what you want to do is go ahead and make sure that the um, that you have these checked mark. So apply VC tracking, uh, ex, uh, apply expressions. Um, this is optional, but however, I, I keep it on because I use it for the jawbone. Um, but for you, you probably want to leave it off. Um, if I were to track the uh, blend shapes and uh, if I were to blink one time, like left or right eye, it just blinks bl both eyes or tries to. I'm trying to make it. Okay, it's not tracking that, but that's the result that I got. So I kept that off and just kept jawbone. Make sure that you have the uh, head and neck, you have the fingers, you have the hands and to the shoulders, spine to and chest and lower back. Um, once I get a device, it's called Leap, I'll be able to do finger tracking. Um, but however, we're not gonna be covering that in this video because I don't have that equipment, unfortunately. But um, yeah, it is what it is. So once you have that all applied, there it, it automatically saves, so there is no apply or save button. But um, yeah, just it's just a matter, matter of toggling these options. Um, and you can mess around with everything else if you want to blink sensitivity, uh, look down the gaze, uh, strength, and so on and so forth. Um, I want to go back to the settings here on the top right, and I want to quickly uh, uh, talk about the the effect settings or not the effects. Is it? I think it's no, 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 no. That's not it. Uh, expression. I'm sorry. Expression settings. So here is. Um, Let's say I'm, let me, uh, let me uh, drag this open. It's, it's basically, I'm, I'm mirroring it. Um, to get transparency, um, all I gotta do is click on the bottom right on the program and it will uh, disappear like that. So it's pretty easy, but anywho. Um, so let's just say if I were to hit the uh, uh, control shift F1 all the way to F6, uh, and it'll give us every expression. So there's natural, there's fun, there's angry. Um, let me show you what angry looks like. So when you are correlating this with stream, when something happens, if someone in chat calls you something mean, you know, you can just give them this face and be like, yo, you can get the hell out. You're banned now, get out. All right, now we're good. All right, so uh, how's chat doing so far? So it's, it's a matter of correlating um, with these uh, uh, hotkeys. And yes, you can edit them. When you click on it, it'll say um, uh, press a hotkey for fun, which is, um, you know, that uh, that expression. However, I'm gonna keep it on as it is for default, but you can change it for what you wanna do. And it's really all that simple of setting up your VTubing um, to be a VTuber. Just as long as you have a webcam, a phone, and a microphone, so whenever you do talk, you know, it'll correlate with, you know, it'll help out when, when you talk, your mouth moves, 
it, it just helps out but in the next video when i get uh uh leap which is a tracking fingers and uh, i'll make also uh other tutorials of how to correlate uh of being a better vtuber i hope you guys like this tutorial go ahead and give it a like uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh follow my live stream uh please don't ask me how to how to do stuff how to hey i watched your video i was wondering if you can help me if i'm live streaming um, no offense, but that's a uh, that's me trying to have fun. That's me time. Um, I'll be more than happy to help you out in the Discord. So links are all in the description. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and take care. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.